reading with Marshmallow and Miss Gansko. Hey first graders, so today we're going to read Where in the Wild? Camouflage Creatures Concealed and Revealed. Miss T picked out this book. The author is David Schwartz and Yale Shai and the photos were Dwight Kuhn. The photos are really, really neat today, so I wanted to make sure that you guys had a close-up today. All right. Where in the wild? Imagine that you're an animal in the wild trying to avoid a prowling predator. If you can't find you, it can't eat you. Now imagine that you are the predator silently hunting for prey. If your prey doesn't see you, you can catch it and eat it. Whether an animal is looking for something to eat or trying to avoid being eaten or both, it would probably survive longer if it blends into its environment. That's why some creatures hide with their colors. It's called camouflage. An animal can be so well camouflaged that it practically vanishes in plain sight. To stay camouflaged, some creatures change their appearance from one minute to another or from one season to the next. See if you can find the camouflaged animals photographed in their natural habitats. The poems will give you hints. When you think you have found a hidden animal, or if you give up, we will see them in the picture. Then I'll point them out for you guys. Then read on and we'll find out more of the amazing animals and their vanishing acts. Wary eyes. Wary eyes. Eyes are keen. Sniff the air. Seldom seen. Crouching low. In the brush. Standing still. Watching. Hush. Darkness falls. On the prowl. Rising moon. Yip. And how? Did you guys find him? There he is, the wolf hiding. Grayish, greenish, grayish, greenish, blackish tree. The colors you see are the colors of me. Grayish, greenish, blackish bark. I'm bumpy and blotchy, part light and part dark. Grayish, greenish, what do I hear? A sound in the branches that's coming too near. Grayish, greenish, blackish, yikes. What if he saw me? What if he strikes? Grayish, greenish, what do I feel? Oh no, he has found me. I'll soon be his. Did you guys find it? There it is. It's a green tree frog. Spots. Spots, spots, we've got lots. Not checks or stripes or polka dots. Not pointy stars or red race cars. Not rainbow arcs or great white sharks. In this field of white clover, we've covered all over with spotty white patches so no one can catch us. On weak, wobbly legs, we can't run away, so we'll hide with our spots till we're bigger someday. Did you guys find the animals? All right, we have two fawns in the clover field. Silent and still. I'm silent and still till I leap out and pounce. Even prey twice my size, I can easily trounce. To feast on a rabbit, a rat, or a mole, I stalk it, then capture it deep in its hole. In the warm summer months, my coat is dark brown. Then as winter arrives, I don a white gown. I can hide in full view without caution or fear. In this snow-covered field, I just disappear. We have a weasel. Wings outspread. 
flitting, darting, zigzag flight, blurry wing beats in the night. Resting outspread wings of white blend with birch bark by day's light. Ooh, this one's tricky, guys. There we have it, the moth. Speckled treasures. Speckled treasures lie bare upon the pebbled bank. Fragile life within. Ooh, I don't even know if I can find this one. It's a keel deer egg. Wow. We have actually some of these around our school. Those little birds that they're kind of walking super fast on the ground across the parking lot. Yep, that's a keel deer egg. Or a keel deer bird. There are these ones right there. Motionless. Motionless on yellow blooms I hide, blending in so well I can't be spied. Posed to strike for days or weeks I lie, till a careless fly alights nearby. Lashing out, I quickly snatch the fly, pierce its back, and swiftly suck it dry. Once again I lie and wait for prey. Camouflage and patience are my way. Ooh, we have a crab spider here. Look how well that's blended in. It's amazing the camouflage it has. Eyes on one side. I taste so delicious, the fisherman wishes, to catch me and make me his meal. So upward I look in fear of a hook attached to a rod and a reel. I can turn tan or brown as I lie belly down on the sea floor through low and high tide. Even stranger than that, I am totally flat with both of my eyes on one side. I once swam about like a brass or a trout till I made my home here on the bottom. When a small fry swims by, I am fast on the fly and with one sudden move, I got him. There we have a flounder fish. His eyes are on top of his head and his mouth is on the side. One of those silly looking fish. Serpentine. Silently gliding, slithering, sliding in the grass hiding, coiled and cunning, swift and stunning on a rock sunning, long and lean, smooth and green, serpentine. We have that green snake. And here in his picture, it's showing one of the baby green snakes coming out of his egg. Vagabond. I'm now a forest vagabond, but I was born within a pond. I hatched from one of my eggs. I swam around. I had no legs. I grew and changed to look like this. They call that metamorphosis. With lungs to breathe and legs to stand, I walk about upon dry land. If you should see me on a hike, you may think I'm lizard-like, but I'm no reptile, think again. I'm really an amphibian. Here we have the red spotted newt. Here's kind of some more pictures of there it is with its tail when it's swimming in the water. And when it grows up, it's that full size newt, kind of looks like a red tile. And that is the end. Nice eyes today, guys. And that was our book, Where in the Wild Camouflage Creatures Concealed and Reviewed. Thanks guys for listening. Bye.